correct and wonderful people how on our day welcome back to Tessie's tv we don't carry another app broker come give on about waiting the sub for inside palace as if i praise them don't enter palace to remind the oloris over what is about happening in the palace and no matter how they try they are not going to stop it yes we heard that the main head of all the Ifa priests them enter palace today to come and tell all Kabiesi's wives that Kwenawobi Shirekola is about coming into the palace. So they should start to adjust for her to take over her position because she cannot come into the uh, palace as Kabiesi's uh, sixth or seventh wife. No. She is coming into the palace as Kabi is the first wife as the main queen of the Elefe kingdom. So they should start demoting themselves. It was Kabi Esi that was uh, just telling the Oloris that if Queen Naomi enter palace that their position, they will be demoted. Like uh, Olori Miriam will be demoted to second position. Uh, Olori Elizabeth will be demoted to third. Why? Olori Tobiloba will be the fourth wife. That is how they will have to come down to the seventh wife because Queen Naomi can never ever be at their bottom. That is what Kabiesi has been telling them, and they say, Lie, Lie, they will not allow it to happen. That Queen Naomi cannot enter palace to demote them. They will make sure that Queen Naomi did not enter. And they have been in a battlefield in that case with Kabi AC, as they keep on fighting to see that Mommy Tedenikawo did not make her grand entrance back to the palace. But right now, I may say that it is official because the Ifa priest has used their hand to come and tell the Ulobis. Yes, they have accepted to start the ritual performance of Mommy Tedenekawo before she will enter palace. Because we heard that before Mommy Tedenekawo will have her way fully back, there are going to be a lot of rituals that will be done. Yes, according to the tradition of Ilefe people that Queen Naomi left on her own without Kabi Ese chasing her out that she has to perform some rituals. And this time around, Queen Naomi has to take oaths that she will not leave palace again, no matter what. That is what we heard. So she has to start the ritual as soon as possible to start uh, doing it. Remember, Queen Naomi is a prophetess and uh, this ritual, I don't think is a bad thing because some people are saying, ah, how can a prophetess be engaged in rituals? When Naomi also believe in tradition, tradition is a total a different thing from doing juju. So this one, the Ifa priest them are talking about is all about tradition. How Ilefe people do their own thing and when Naomi has agreed to do it. So now that is why the Ifa priest entered palace to tell the Oloris. Because Kabiesi told them, if you know you are not comfortable with Queen Naomi coming into the palace as my wife, as my beloved wife, leave for good. Pack up your properties in the palace and leave. And they say, Laila, yo, they are not going anywhere. That they will stay and fight and make sure say Queen Naomi did not enter. Okay, look at what is going on. If a priest them has come out to tell them, when Naomi is coming in, though, know, if you are not comfortable to, like Kabiesi said, pack out because all of you will be demoted. We cannot stop Mommy Teddy Nekawo's return because you people did not like her. When Naomi was our first queen, and she says uh, she has agreed with Kabiesi that she is coming back. Nothing will free stop Mommy Teddy Nekawo from entering palace. It is already agreement. From Queen Naomi's mouth, this one will be Elder Stockham. Queen Naomi said she is returning. It is her agreement with Kabi AC. So we are going to perform every ritual. And why we have entered palace is to inform you people that you will be demoted as soon as possible. We heard that after Ifa priest told Miriam and other wives available in the palace at that moment, 
that they began to cry, that KBAC has break their hearts, that it is not their agreement with KBAC. One thing is certain that what they took from Queen Naomi, Queen Naomi is coming back to take it over. Yes, it is a total recovery for Mommy Tedene Kawo. She is coming back to recover her crown as the Yeyelua of the Souls. She is coming back to recover her titles. She is coming back to recover her staff. They thought that they are going to enjoy it, that it is going to last long for them. But no, what they stole from Queen Naomi is about to be returned back to her. Yes, Queen Naomi and Kabi Isi can never be separated. We have heard it so many times. But you see the Oloris, even after they had said when Naomi and Kabi Isi cannot be separated, that they are lovers even in the 16th century and they have been reincarnated. That is what we heard that uh, some of the seers that came to the palace told Kabi Isi. But still, they want to tear them apart. They don't want them together. But people know that Queen Naomi and Kabiesi are meant to be. Even before Queen Naomi was in the palace, you see how the love was there. The love was there that everybody was feeling it. Everybody was perceiving it. Kabiesi, anywhere Kabiesi wants to go now, so Kabiesi go carry Queen Naomi as uh, his handbag, the worker. Because Kabi is the tool of Mami Tedene Kawo, but devil came in and decided to destroy what the beautiful thing that they have together, what they built together, and they used the Mamala was where they palace in order to destroy it. They wanted to say that that relationship is scattered, but when I see when Naomi's love with Kabi, see, it overpowered their evil plan. Yes, they cannot win Queen Naomi. Because they are already mocking her. It's been two years. You cannot come into the palace again. You go and get married. To the extent that the Olori started arranging suitors for Mommy Tedene Kawo to marry. They were arranging suitors for her. They don't want her to return. They were making every possible effort to say that Queen Naomi is out of the palace permanently and out of the Kabiesi's life. But today, what is going on? We see that there is no way when Naomi can ever be out of Kabiesi's life and the palace. If a priestess has come to tell the Oloris, you have to accept your fate too. When Naomi Shilekola is having her way back and not even any of you can stop her grand entrance into the palace. So now better package yourself and demote yourselves and know that once Queen Naomi returns, she will be the one in charge. That is what Eva Prism told the Oloris in the palace and we heard that right now they are willing that Queen Naomi should not enter palace because she has already left the palace that find another husband and leave KBAC alone. So my correct people are waiting this so for inside palace as the Oloris has once again put to shame. I very much want to that Shukma for this approval. Drop your comment, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, stay tuned, stay connected for more updates.